hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of c is equals to 3 times of c and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verified that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root so uh, for this uh, please watch this video at the end also at the end I can explain the term extraneous root uh, or I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here first we move towards our first uh, method uh, and now here in the first method uh, we uh, need to divide both of the sides by C so when you divide both of the sides by C it will be written as square root of C divided by C is equals to 3 and here further uh, we know about that uh, if you have uh, if you have square root of A is multiplied by square root of A is equals to A it means that when the radical term is multiplied by itself so the radical sign will be removed and it is equals to a only okay so according to this rule we just write uh, this c as in this form uh, so here we write this c as this is the square root of c divided by we write this c into the form of radicals and it will becomes square root of c into square root of c is equals to 3 and you see here uh, this square root of c and this square root of c are gone and we will get here 1 over square root of c is equals to 3 and here we move this square root of c to the right hand side and it will be written as 1 is equals to 3 times of square root of c so here for the values of c we need to take the squaring on both of the sides so when you will take squaring it will be written as in this form and we will get here this is the one square and one square becomes one and here we need to apply this square separately on both of these values and we know that square of three becomes nine and we write this as square root of c and its whole square so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here one is equals to this is nine times of c so for the values of c we need to divide both of the sides by 9 so when you divide both of the sides by 9 it will be written as this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we get here the final root of the given equation is uh, 1 divided by 9 this is the, our final root of the given equation which we get here from first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem uh, for second method and at the last I can just verify that uh, is this root be the solution or extraneous root so here first we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of c is equals to 3c so in the second method here we I can just give you a smart way uh, in which you get easily the value of c so in this method we directly take a scaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as square root of c and its whole square equals to 3c and its whole square and uh, now here in the next step you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here c is equals to here we apply this square separately on both of these values and we get 3 square multiplied by c square and here we need to move the c to the right hand side and first we will write it as this is 9 times of c square and now we move the c to the right hand side and it will be written as 9 times of c square minus c is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve c so that we will take common c from here and when you take common c we get 9c minus 1 is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is 
so that uh, from here we get the value of c is equals to 0 and here we write it as 9c minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of uh, uh, c is equals to this is 9c equals to 1 and we easily get the value of c is equals to 1 over 9. So this is the second root of the given equation. So from second method we get here the two roots of the given equation uh, and now in the next step we uh, need to verify these roots so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is k root of c is equals to 3c this is our given question statement and now here we verify both of these roots so when you put c is equals to 0 here and uh, in this side we put c is equals to 1 over 9 so when we put c is equal to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as square root of 0 is equals to 3 times of 0 and this will become here 0 equals to 0. So this shows that the value of c is equal to 0 is satisfied our given question statement and from here we put c is equal to 1 over 9 on both of the sides it will be written as 1 over 9 square root equals to 3 times of 1 over 9. And we know that uh, the square root of 9 becomes 3 is equals to here we cancel these terms and we get 1 over 3. So uh, for c is equals to 1 over 9 you again see that uh, this value is also satisfied our given question statement. So both of these roots are satisfied our given question statement. So the final solution of this question is 0 and 1 over 9. So this is the, our final solution. So here I can explain the term extraneous root. So the roots which cannot satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation. So here we have 0 and 1 over 9 be the solutions of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.